things. Today I want to share an idea that I had uh, and I made it. So I'm gonna show it to you and maybe you can apply it to your own world. Ever since I got my Note 7, there's been things happening and whatnot, but I had a problem. And that's not only true to the Note 7, many phones on the market right now use USB Type-C charger. And long time ago, you, every phone had a different charger and it was a nightmare. If you ran out of charge, the likelihood that your friend had the same charger was minimal. Then it changed and all the phones started doing micro USB, which was fantastic. All of a sudden, you didn't have a problem with a charger. But now, USB evolution came to USB Type-C being put in the most latest phones and the problem is back. So, right now, USB Type-C is very not very popular. Uh, I mean, the likelihood of you finding USB Type-C cable is much lower than finding a micro USB cable, whether at work, at school, college, at home, anywhere. I myself have got two USB Type-C cables, one in the car and one here, and that's about it. So what happens when you're out of charge somewhere at your friend's house or at work and you haven't got a USB cable? Well, my um, USB Type-C cable. The solution is here. For as long as your phone supports wireless charging, um, you might recognize this um, as a module from the big white uh, wireless QI charger that I got from eBay and took apart uh, some time ago. And I thought, well, why, why not take a wireless charger like this and build it into the phone case and have a second USB port, micro USB for that matter, for charging and just in case you're you're in a in bad luck your phone's run out of juice you can always charge your phone with a micro usb it's not as fast as charging with a uh, with the proprietary cable but it will get you out of trouble here i've actually made my own case out of wood and i had another problem with um, note 7 the phone being very slim and slick and and all that I ke it kept falling out of my hands. Uh, I don't know, I'm just getting a little bit clumsy, I guess. So I wanted something bigger. So what I've done in the middle over here, I've uh, hand routed out a um, small piece um, just so this can fit. And I've modified this a little bit. Um, I've gone, uh, got the cable to run underneath the coil through the little hole and at the bottom. And I've got a little channel over here for that cable and that uh, will sit, make it sit a little bit more flush rather than having the cable going over the top. Um, and this section here, it's a little bit fiddly, but well, I'm not gonna be taking this out all the time. This is just a one-time installation. And this sits firmly in place, but I'm just going to add a little bit of masking tape, just standard builder's masking tape over the top of it just for good measure and now I should be able to install the phone in it like so there we go and install the lug ends whatever that should be called now I've, I've got to put those little um, those are just barbecue skewers put those in and trim, trim them flush and stain the top of it so it looks flush I didn't want to make it permanently closed. I wanted to be able to take the phone out just in case I had to. Um, but anyways, that's uh, that's the case. Now, if I want, I can charge it with USB Type-C as normal. Ta -da. Or, if I haven't got a USB Type-C, I've got the USB over here. And also on the back, you'll notice something. So. I can plug in the micro USB 
and the phone is charging. And you can see the lights uh, from the you can see the lights from the charging module, they actually shine through the wood, which is nice. Um, so it gives you a little indication of what's happening. But yeah, that's, uh, as you can see, that's charging. You don't have to make your own case for this. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of ruggedized and robust cases out there that have got enough space that you can cut out a piece of plastic or something out of, um, out of the inside of it and install and hot glue a wireless charging module to inside of it and there you go dual charging USB type C and micro USB A and you don't have to worry about carrying an adapter or a cable or anything else um, yeah that's the idea I wanted to share so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little idea sharing video thank you very much for watching if you liked it give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more random stuff if you wish to see more and for the time being take care